Those who work in the fast food industry, have you ever sabotaged a meal because the customer pissed you off? If so, what did you do? It wasn't an actual customer, but I did something gross once. I was working at Little Caesars Pizza. For a string of about 4 nights, we were getting a late night, large order that the buyer kept flaking on. If no one in the store wanted them, they would ultimately be thrown away. Well, it just so happened that a car full of 4-5 to five college aged kids would camp out back, and ask if they could have what we were throwing out those same nights. After a few nights, it was obvious that they were the ones making the calls. So I swept the floor and put all of the dirt and debris under the cheese. We gave it to them with the rest of the pizzas, and never had a late night order like that again. Once a lady made me go through about 15 wafer cones till I found one that was not destroyed. Wafer cones are fragile and are prone to chips around the edges. When I finally found one she approved of, I pressed the ice cream in it just hard enough as to create a strategically placed crack. The crack would get worse and worse the more she bit into it, ultimately rendering the cone useless. When I was a teenager, I worked at Burger King. This guy started verbally attacking me, saying his burger was cold. I apologized, assured him we'd make another, etc. But he continued to be a right donk about it. Fine. I assured him his next burger would be piping hot. I went and got a burger right off the grill and stuck it in the microwave for 2 minutes. Made the burger and carried it out to his table. Asked him to try it to make sure it was hot enough. Stood there sweetly smiling as he took a big ass bite and promptly burned his mouth. As he was frantically gulping down water, I asked him if it was hot enough. He nodded jerkily while still gulping down water. Still smiling, I said, I'm glad, and nodding as if I was proud of a job well done. Turned on my heel, walked away, and felt like a queen for the rest of my shift. About 10 years ago, when I was working at a KFC, I had an older lady start yelling at me as soon as she began talking. She also mentioned something about not smashing the biscuits. I smashed the biscuits. No, but when I worked at a Taco Bell slash KFC, we would accidentally make orders wrong, so the customer wouldn't want it. Then we would sneak it off to the side and eat it. Had a friend in college who delivered pizzas. He would have us call in an order, then call back several minutes later, after it had been made, and cancel it. When his shift was over, he'd get to keep it and bring it to us. And people think that fast food industry workers are not intelligent. I guess this isn't technically destroying the food, but it's pretty close, so here goes. When I worked at Burger King, there was this one middle-aged lady who would come in once or twice a week, and order a burger with extra onions. And no matter how many we put on, it was never enough. I'd put a sizable handful on, even though you're only supposed to put like 4-5 to five onions on it, and then add a few more if they ask for extra, and it still was never enough. So one day she comes in, and the store manager, surprisingly given the industry, she was actually pretty cool, told me to put a lot on, so I put a huge handful on, and my manager handed it to the customer while making sarcastic comments over the internal channel on our headsets. Sure enough, the lady comes back and complains that it's not enough onions, keep in mind we already put, no joke, at least 20 times more onion than we should have. So my manager, while swearing under her breath, hands me the burger and tells me to put some more onions on. Then before I got a chance to put any on, she was like, actually, no, forget this. Give me some of those gloves and I'll do it. She then proceeds to take almost half of the 2.5 kilogram container of onions, dump it on the burger, and wrap it. The lady took it back to her seat, while we all went out by the register to watch. The look on her face when she opened that burger was priceless, and as far as I know, she never complained about not having enough onions after that. When I worked at McDonald's, I would make the sandwiches look like the pictures if people were rude. This consisted of putting all the condiments on one side of the burger, with the pickles hanging slightly out. I used to work at a sandwich shop. Company policy was 3 baby tomatoes per sandwich. Once a lady pissed me off and I only gave her two. I didn't ruin any food, or drinks in this case, but when I worked at Starbucks, some dude was being a jerk so I said, please, 
don't be rude to me sir, and it was the worst thing I have said to a customer. So hardcore. I worked at a Wendy's for 2 years. I didn't necessarily punish the bad people, but I rewarded the good ones. For example, if it was relatively slow, and a really kind person came in who said things like please and thank you, I would drop fresh fries for them, so they were extra hot and crispy, even if they were relatively new fries. It's the little things that make life a lot better. At an old pizza place I worked at, we all found out that our boss took out some of our tip money from the jar. Everybody got extra food for the next week or so. A dozen wings you say? Here, have 30. And 5 ranches to dip in. I used to work at a pizza joint, and there were plenty of times I wanted to sneeze on a pizza when a customer was an asshole to me, or the person on the phone, but never could bring myself to do it. I'm Canadian though, so I might not count. Pizza slinger here. I won't mess with your food, but I sure will shake the shit out of your 2 liters of coke in the car, and smile as I hand it to you. I once accidentally served a customer a smoothie with a bolt in it. It came off of our ice making machine, and it had a plastic part to it, and the customer came back in and showed me some of the plastic. I dumped the smoothie out in the sink and saw the big screw. He asked me if I found anything else. I lied to him, and made him a new smoothie while feeling very thankful. Some guy was being a donkhead to me in drive through at McDonald's, so when he asked for extra pickles, I gave him no pickles. I still feel like a badass looking back on it. You forgot the pickles. This one chick complained that her fresh fries weren't fresh enough, so when the next batch came out, I avalanched them with salt. When I worked at Wendy's, we used the overcooked burgers for the chili. If they look like they've been on the grill for too long, just throw them into a pan in a heated drawer. We usually stayed open till 1am, and one time someone came past 1am. I had already cleaned the grill and had no burgers left on the grill. The manager took the order because this bish complained and demanded we take the order. Fine, I'll use this overcooked, dry ass burger that's been sitting in a pan all day. Not exactly proud of it, but I did it. Some cop asked for a litter of cola and was being a donk about it, so I stabbed a hole in the side and covered it with a promotional peel away sticker. Man that guy was pissed. When I was in high school, I had a very quiet and shy friend. I would frequently decide to fight her battles for her. So, she dated a guy who ended up cheating on her. Shortly after, he came through the drive through of a local fast food joint I was working at. He ordered some fancy blended coffee drink thing, and I mixed a bunch of dirty mop bucket water into his drink before serving it to him. Duck that guy. Other than that, I have never ducked with a customer's meal slash service, no matter how much of an asshat they are. Edit, while working at the same fast food place, a middle-aged couple came through in their old beta truck. They had ordered something like a small fry, small drink, and one burger. When they rolled up to the window, the smell of strong weed came pouring out of their car and into the drive through window. I figured they had to be hungrier than what they ordered, so I gave them an extra couple of large fries, large soda, and large milkshake. I couldn't get away with giving them free burgers. As a thanks, they offered me a hit, so I hung out the window into their truck and took a puff or two. Felt good man. A guy in my town was once caught shitting in the beans at Taco Bell. As someone who spent a week in the hospital earlier this year with hemorrhagic Escherichia coli, contracted from a shitty restaurant. Duck that shit. One time at Burger King, I was working a particularly slow shift, and this little kid came in with just enough money for a cookies and cream ice cream. These things usually take 30 seconds to make, but the kid looked really excited, and since things were slow, I took an extra effort to make sure the Oreo cookies were nicely mixed into the ice cream and that the ice cream itself was full to the brim of the cup. Well my manager didn't like this at all, not the part about taking an extra minute on the kid's ice cream, nor the part about actually filling the cup properly. So he made me throw it out. In spite of my boss though, I just made a bigger and better ice cream for that kid. Added the whole shabam, M&Ms, Oreos, Choc Flakes, Choc Sauce, the whole deal. Filled it up so much that it was practically worth 3 times as much as the kid paid, and told him to run. 
I worked at a subway, and lady came through drive through my subway has a drive through yes, what the duck, and she drove past the order mic and honked and knocked on the window. Slightly irritated I open it and take her order. She got bacon on her sandwich, and asked for me to be sure it was crispy. Okay sure. I give the order to my co-worker and tell the lady it would be done in a jiffy. She restates that she wants it crispy, and that the idiot working last night when she drove through was too stupid to know what crispy was. I soon realize that I was that idiot. I tell her, okay, I'll be sure it's crispy. Walk over and take the bacon myself, and chard the greasy hell out of that ducking bacon. It essentially just crumbled and looked like pepper. I don't like having my intelligence insulted by someone who won't see me making their food. I never did anything, but I witnessed a female employee blow her nose on a burger after a customer called her a cunt. She had a cold too. Yes, we were classy at the Carbondale Steak and Shake. I don't work in fast food, but as someone who works in retail, let me tell you this, if you're rude to me, you're getting the ugliest change in the drawer. My boss once spit in a pizza. The guy was obviously going for a free pizza, so he deserved it. He called and ordered a garbage pizza upon prodding. I discovered this meant he wanted every topping we offered, not just the usual supreme toppings. I listed the toppings, told him they were 25 cents per topping and gave him a total. He got the pizza, and apparently ate a bite in the car, came back in waving a slice, and said that the green olive ruined the flavor for him. He wanted his money back and a free pizza of his choice. I told the guy that we weren't going to give him a free pizza in addition to refunding his money, policy was to issue a refund. He went on a huge rant about how it was BS and how he was hungry, so having his money back didn't make sense, and just giving him fresh pizza doesn't make up for his pain and suffering. My manager came out of the office, basically called me incompetent in front of the customer to make him happy, then started making his free pizza herself. She spat in it right before she put it in the oven, looked at me and said something like, the customer may always be right, but we can still have small victories. If you're an ass at Starbucks, they'll decaf you. Every Starbucks has a way for the cashier to signal the line person to decaf someone. At the Starbucks I worked at, we would add a nose on the smiley faces we drew on the cups sometimes. One lady was an enormous bish who came in 5 days a week, multiple times a day, and would more often than not demand we remake her drink, even if it was the most perfectly made drink on earth. So we finally started decafing her, and she kept increasing the number of shots she got in her drink, because she was still sleepy. One day we stopped decafing her at around 6 shots. I think I won this one. Tim Allen would frequently stop in at the coffee shop I worked at in Colorado. When he came, he always had a good 6 to 10 people in tow, and would always order these super high maintenance for drinks, that is 2 and a half shots, 30% foam, 165 degrees. Just stupid shit, and worst of all, after doing this he would never tip, never. I'm talking not even the leftover change. Save all the why should you expect a tip, you make coffee, duck you, I get paid peanuts. Anyway, I had decided to move back home and was leaving this place of employment in a few days. In walks the tool man himself with his 8 friends and family, and they order their drinks. Upon completing his beverage and handing it out, he took a sip and made a stupid little lemon face and said it was too hot. So I make him another drink, and then he complains that it wasn't stirred enough. So I remake the drink again, and he looks at me and says, I can taste the decaf, you know, with a smug little look on his face. I'll give you something you can taste, I think to myself. I took the lid for his drink, and under my apron proceeded paint every part of the lid with my hairy ass balls, inside and out. Hand it out along with a free drink coupon, and that's it. He ducking loved it. TLDR. IT bagged Tim the toolman tailor with a tasty testicle treat. This will probably get buried now, but I used to work at Subway. One lady came in and started yelling at me, while my boss was trying to tell me something relatively important. It was already mildly busy, and this lady had walls to the front of the queue and demanded I make her a sandwich. I asked her to wait a few seconds while I finished talking listening to my boss, who was already mid-conversation. Lady says something like, 
this isn't good enough, left $5 on the bench and told me to make her whatever sandwich, and she'd be back in 5 minutes. I made her a veg patty with lettuce, a duck load of jalapenos and red wine vinaigrette, which any sandwich artist in the world will tell you is the most foul sauce ever known to man. One of my co-workers sniffed it and vomited one day. She came back 20 minutes later and picked up her sandwich plus change, and probably didn't enjoy the rest of the day.